We will have rain around here. It's just not going to be because of that tropical system okay. later on this week. By the weekend and the start of next week, that could be a different story. Okay. So this is going to be kind of a long duration event that we talk about as far as the tropical weather goes. As far as our heat goes, let's hope this breaks very soon. I think it will by tomorrow as more rain moves in here. But we've got a heat advisor in effect again for today for heat index values up over 105, some spots 110. We had these kind of values around by noontime yesterday. Folks in Jasper and West Alabama, Tuscaloosa, had heat index values at 106, 107 yesterday at lunchtime. So at Anison, we've got a lot of cloud cover. And these clouds kind of uh, all around central Alabama, and that's why temperatures are so mild and feel so muggy outside right now. 78 degrees in Anison with a northeasterly wind at 5. You see the rest of the numbers, not very cool at all. Numbers in the mid and upper 70s for the most part. The low 70s are the outliers, 73 in, in uh, Jasper right now and 72 in Hamilton. So we see some isolated storms today. It, what it will provide is some heat relief. We don't expect any severe weather, even though we had some stronger storms last night. I don't expect severe storms again for today. Maybe a couple are strong with lightning and some gusty wind. But really, we're going to be focused on what happens down in the Gulf of Mexico. Even though that it won't play a direct impact on our weather, it could have some impacts later on in the weekend and the start of next week. But right now, this area of low pressure is now emerged in the Gulf of Mexico, and this is what we've been waiting for. Now we will get a little bit better idea of where this thing is going to go and how strong it might be. Now, most of the computer models have this area of low pressure continuing its southern trajectory here for the next 24 hours. Then by Thursday, it kind of makes a, a turn and goes due west. Right south of Louisiana, we start to see a lot of heavy rain develop along the Mississippi and Louisiana coast, and even along the Alabama coastline, too. We're going to see some pretty heavy rainfall here over the next 24 to 36 hours. Then by the weekend, it makes a turn toward the north into Louisiana, Mississippi, and possibly by Sunday and Monday, some of the weather moves into central Alabama. But again, this is five days away. There's some changes that could, that could happen here before that, but just know that the main impacts from this storm look to be well to our west into Louisiana and Mississippi, but like we know, tropical storms and uh, tropical depressions can sometimes uh, change course and have a mind of their own, so just stay tuned and we'll keep you updated uh, through the rest of the week and into the weekend. For tomorrow, we're pretty confident, though, of rain chances around here because of a cold front that's going to move through. It's not going to provide us much cold air, but what it will be is a trigger for showers and thunderstorms to form. So some really good rain chances here Thursday and Friday, and even for the weekend ahead as well. And then by Sunday and Monday, this could be what's left over of that tropical system impacting the rest of the deep south. Stay steamy. Isolated storms around for today. Mid-90s for highs, and then some clouds around in We'll see very mild conditions once again for tomorrow morning, mid-70s for lows. That extended forecast, more numerous storms Thursday and Friday with just some isolated storms today. Then we keep those rain chances around Saturday. And then by Sunday, we could be talking about some tropical influence from the system down in the Gulf. So stay tuned. And exclusively today on CBS42.com and all of our social media apps, we've got our Weather Wednesday. We explore the hottest temperature ever recorded, the controversy behind the Guinness Book of World Record, and why Death Valley, California is now considered the hottest place on earth. You can find all of our Weather Wednesday content, of course, on CBS42.com, our CBS42 News app, and our CBS42 Facebook page.